If there's one thing that all the biggest consulting firms like McKinsey, Bain, and BCG have in common, it's that they make amazing presentations for their clients, and those presentations get results. The issue was, for the longest time, to get a presentation of that quality, you had to pay a pretty penny. But that's changed now with the new ChatGPT Agent feature. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can use ChatGPT Agent to create an incredible presentation just like the top consulting firms. I'll walk you through what actually makes a presentation top consulting firm grade and how to prompt ChatGPT Agent to make the slides themselves. So first things first, what actually makes a presentation McKinsey or Bain or BCG tier. The truth is these top tier firms didn't become legends just because they used some kind of fancy formatting or had some sleek templates lying around. What separates a McKinsey presentation from everything else comes down to how they think about and structure information. There's actually a specific methodology behind why their slides hit so hard with executives. And once you understand these core principles, you can reverse engineer that same impact. So here are some of those principles. First is narrative control. They aren't just slides thrown together. In general, they might look like problem, followed by solution, then impact, and next steps. There's actual progression going on. Second is top-down communication or the pyramid principle. You know how when you watch a review for a certain product, you just want to skip to the conclusion at the end? Well, imagine watching reviews with conclusions at the very beginning and the rest of the video just backs that up. That's how they do it. You lead with the answer, and then support it with structured arguments. Next is clarity and messaging. These companies organize thoughts into clean buckets. No overlaps and no gaps. Have you ever listened to a presentation and thought to yourself, wow, I listened to that guy for 45 minutes straight and I can't remember a thing he said. That's why you want to be extra clear. Being clear helps you write better prompts too. Clear asks equals clear outputs. And these companies love headline style titles. Slides tell the story through their titles. You won't see a generic market trends slide. Every title delivers an insight. In fact, every title should read like a news headline. It grabs attention and helps the audience get the gist of the slide right away. It's also a retention hack that resets your audience's attention span every time you move to a new slide. These companies also love visual hierarchy and layout discipline. Everything is polished. Grids, alignment, white space, font consistency. This is why consulting slides always feel clean. If you look at your presentation and think, that doesn't quite look balanced, you're probably right. So you might want to press those arrow keys until everything is perfectly aligned. Speaking of everything being perfectly aligned, yeah, that's much better. And these companies also prioritize function over flair. Top firms have no unnecessary visuals. Everything exists to move the story forward. All right, now we're here on ChatGPT and I have this prompt that I prepared beforehand. Create a professional and compelling pitch deck for a fictional AI writing tool. And I added all these descriptions. And now we normally send using this arrow button, but now we are going to click this plus sign. And now we select agent mode. And then we click on that arrow. All right. We wait for ChatGPT to do its thing. All right, so now we can see that ChatGPT is really researching. So ChatGPT is going through a ton of websites to research. All right, it says, here's your investor-ready pitch deck for the fictional AI writing tool. And it says we can actually download the presentation. Let's enlarge that. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Smart content, brand voice, multilingual. This actually sounds like an actual AI writing tool. Okay, this is kind of a mess. Revenue model, freemium, pro, enterprise. Makes sense. It's talking about traction and metrics, a strategy, a fictional team, even financial projections. Seeking $5 million in funding. Love this. So overall, I can say this is looking pretty good content-wise, at least as a framework. I do think ChatGPT needs a bit of help. You can pick software that focuses on visuals. For that, we're going to use PictoChart. 
which is an AI tool that creates or improves visuals for you. That includes everything from presentations, graphics, documents, the works. Okay, so we're here on PictoChart, and now we're gonna select presentation, and here we get the option to paste text or upload a file. So I downloaded the PowerPoint from earlier and converted it into a PDF. Okay, so I just uploaded the PDF, and now we are going to select generate pitch decks. And now PictoChart is doing its thing. We can see all of these layouts. These are part of PictoChart's asset library. It's actually applying the content to all of these assets. And that's great because we have a lot of layouts and designs to choose from. Oh, wow. There you go. Let's take a look at that. So this was the original slide and this is the new slide. AI writing revolution. Okay. Some words were changed, but a lot of it is similar. So here we have a massive market opportunity slide, and here's how that looks on PictoChart. So you see here that PictoChart already has some McKinsey thinking. It converted these boring numbers and text into something more visually digestible. It says AI writing market, generative AI market, global digital ad spend growth. And you can still see those three things on these new slides with a new flavor. And of course, you can see that there are already AI generated images. A whole lot of them. Now, if you're not happy with the generated images, you can simply click on them and select replace or enhance image. A lot of things you can do here. You can replace, modify, upscale. Let's try replace. Now, I'm not in a thinking mood, so I'm just going to click the inspire me button. So a person works at a sleek, minimalist desk, holographic projections, and here are the AI models right now. Let's generate an image. Picto charts doing its thing. And there you go. We simply click, click to replace. And there it is. Take a look at all of these other slides. So this isn't the text that you're actually going to use, but the choice of images is just very intelligent. Let's take a look at the rest of the presentation. Again, this team we got a financial projection over here. And yeah, this is looking really, really good. So we can say we're done with this and select save and edit pitch deck. And from there, we can start editing the text and do more fine tuning if we want to. Now we can select download, choose one of the file types. For now, I'll select PowerPoint, click download PowerPoint, and that's it. And by the way, PictoChart isn't just for presentations. You can repurpose that content into infographics, client reports, and even email visuals. So ChatGPT takes care of the skeleton of the presentation and combining that with PictoChart, which creates amazing visuals, and with the principles that I mentioned earlier, you'll be making McKinsey, Bain, BCG level presentations in no time. This is how you get that clean boardroom ready look. So you can use all these principles to actually create a great presentation. But if you're brand new to presenting or it's been a while, you'll probably want to brush up on your skills before you get in front of everyone, which is why in the next video, you can learn five techniques that you can actually use to be way more confident, convey your message better, and crush your next presentation. See you over there and good luck.